This is a first generation American Standard Pressure Assisted Cadet. A tool that has actually been around for longer than you think. The owner's discovered one is from 1990. I know. Which means this came first before the 1.6 gallon of Madeira. Which is interesting. Today we'll take a look at this one and see how it has an age degrees. Starting off with the overall design, you can notice that the tank is very similar to that of a 6th generation American Standard Cadet, but it's larger. That's because the flush mates from the tank were pretty large themselves. The ball itself, not much to explain. It's basically similar to a 1.6 Madeira. It doesn't look bad per se, but the tank definitely does look a bit strange, not gonna lie. As we go inside the tank, this one actually has a replaced uh, flush mate. This one has a 503. Typically, these from the time have either 501As or 501Bs. My guess is it probably had a 501B, and those are not those are not known for holding out great, and they often get replaced or have problems. Kind of like how the recalled 503s are. This one is newer though, so we don't have to worry about that too much, but these aren't always the greatest. This one's interesting setup as the handle is replaced. The track rays on these are very similar to the 1.6 Madeira. Only two inches and the passages are about the same. The opening is also the same as well. See a flush. The flush on this one is definitely a lot shorter because of the 503, which is why I'm not a huge fan of them. But this would have a longer flush if it had the original flush made. One of the main problems with these is how poorly these hold up. The flushes are pretty meh. They never swell, they just go straight down. And the bow rinse is known for not being the greatest either. But this one is surprisingly clean because of how rarely it's used. But bowl rinse in general is a problem with most pressure assistant, even some of the better ones. These, however, are getting pretty rare though, so these do make them a bit more interesting, especially with the overall design, especially compared to the later second generation, which is even worse than this version. And that is the first generation American Standard Pressure Assisted Cadet. Not much to see here, it's basically a Madeira on a tank, but it is pretty interesting, albeit a bit poor quality, as with most pressure assisted toilets from the time. Now, it's time to grade it. Starting off with the overall design of the first generation pressure assisted cadet, it's interesting for sure. Definitely more unique compared to the later ones. While the ball itself is very similar to a 1.6 Madeira, the tank is definitely the most interesting part, as it's based on the sixth generation American Standard Cadet from the 3.5 era. However, it's a lot fatter. It definitely looks weird at first, but I wouldn't consider it very ugly. It just looks goofy at first. But overall, it definitely has a very interesting design and it gets a six. The flush mates can vary per age. Back in the earlier days, I think these probably had another flush mate. I think it was called like the 500. I don't really know much about that, but it definitely had an earlier flush mate. Meanwhile, the later variations had either the Sloan 501A, mostly seen throughout the mid-90s per se, and eventually it would have the 501B. I mentioned this in the Gerber Ultra Flush video from the first generation, saying that the 501Bs have been recalled, and it's no different here. These are known for being explosive because of the pressure building inside of it. And if you have one, get it replaced, because I've definitely seen these age very poorly compared to the 501As. 501As, on the other hand, definitely age a little bit better, although there might be some problems I don't know about, but I have rarely seen this flush mate, so. But I've definitely seen a lot of 501Bs, and I definitely know that those do not age gracefully. Considering the split of flush mates, I have to give it a score of a 4. Would you be shocked that the quality control isn't great? Well, a lot of pressure assisted toilets have this kind of problem with quality control not working well. Obviously the main problem here is that either the flush doesn't work as well, but usually that depends on the flush mate. This one has a replaced one and therefore the flush is short. And the most common problem being the little to no ball rinse, which is common for a lot of pressure assisted toilets. But the quality control gets a four. 
The trapway design is virtually the same as the Flashometer variant. It's two inches, it's got the same passages and same opening, and the opening is very unique for its time. It deserves a five. As with many pressure assisted toilets compared to its flushometer variants, the flushes are very underwhelming, and these tend to have very uninteresting and poor flushes. I'm excluding this one considering it has a short flush, but generally the flushes on these are very uninteresting and kind of crappy. They mostly rely on the pressure jet compared to the rim jets, which often explains the no borings and it deserves a free. While the pool isn't perfect, it definitely is better than the second generations, which are known for shredding and struggling like crazy. But that's a review for another day. While these can occasionally shred, it's definitely not as much as you might think, but still, it's there, especially when the flushes are shortened due to flush mate problems. So, it still gets a score of a 4. The performance on these are okay. Compared to the flushometer variants, which have better performance in general, these tend to perform a little bit less good. However, they're definitely sufficeable and definitely don't have any problems with clogging, as far as I can tell. It really depends on the flush mate. The performances are serviceable, but nothing really beyond that. It gets a 5. Yeah, don't be surprised, but the balance is pretty crap. And that's because most of the water goes to the siphon jet compared to the rim jets. But that's a common problem with a majority of pressure assisted toilets, even to this very day. So the ball runs gets a free. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. These are getting very rare to find. Finding this one was a pain of in itself. But these are getting close to extinction. And most of this has to do with the flush mates. Most of these have 501Bs. And as I mentioned, they are recalled, so a lot of these probably either get replaced way too late or they explode, often having these get replaced. And even then, some of the flushes are getting worse and worse, even regardless of what flush mates they have. Sometimes even the 501As have this problem, but I definitely know they age a little bit better than the 501Bs. These are getting very rare, and I've definitely seen a lot of the ones I've seen from my childhood get replaced, so the survivability is a free. Now let's talk about the overall value, or lack thereof. You see, these things have aged very poorly over the age. While at first they might be interesting, they have aged poorly in a lot of aspects. The flushes tend to get worse, the bullruns obviously is non-existent, and you might have a chance of having a ticking time bomb in the tank. And even replacing it or keeping it up will probably make this thing age worse and worse. These things are getting kind of a rare for a reason because of how poor the design was overall. Okay, I get this was from the early 90s and this was an early 1.6 gallon design, but they definitely should have perfected this a little bit better. However, I will say though, compared to the second generation, these are a little bit better, but due to some aspects, it definitely has not aged the greatest. Though, I will always take these over the second gens, but still, the value is a 4. Any final score for the first generation American Standard Pressure Assisted Cadet is a 41 out of 100. While these are definitely some of the most interesting toilets of the 1990s, especially in terms of pressure assisted toilets, these have aged very poorly from the poor flushes to the little to no borants, and especially the poor aging abilities, especially if these have 501Bs. These are slowly on the path to extinction, unfortunately. I get that this is an early American Standard Design at 41.6 gallon toilet, but they definitely should have perfected this a little bit better. However, they never did. They only got worse with the second generations. But that's a story for another day.